So thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully if other people come in, I can let them in from the way. Oh, some people are in the waiting room, see? Oh, I don't like this waiting room situation. Okay. Hello, hello, when you come on in, just let me know that you're here. So we'll get started. And then um, everybody who wasn't able to make it, they can watch the replay. I've already messaged a lot of people about that. So um, welcome. This is my very first Zoom meeting. In case you can't tell, I'm like trying to do the tech in real time and still a lot of fun. Um, but what I want to talk to you today about is how to reach your financial goals without living on a super tight budget. Um, because I didn't. <laughs> and I found out through, hey, Chisomo, I found out through kind of like trial and error that you can have your cake and eat it too. And that's really what I want to um, let you know today. So I'm sharing my screen um, so that, but I'm trying, I mean, you can see yourself on the screen too. I'm trying to make it so that, all right. So let's jump right in. This shouldn't take very long. I'm gonna try not to be super long-winded like I am usually when I'm doing my live streams. The world will get in and get out. Um, oh, it's not letting me go down. Oh, beep. I don't have to do it this way. So as we begin, I want you to um, keep yourself on mute for this part of the presentation. Um, but grab a pen and paper, have a pen and paper handy, um, because we will go through some exercises that you might want to write some stuff down. You don't necessarily have to take notes, but you might want to write some stuff down. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, perfect. All right, I'll answer all the questions at the end. So also use your pen and paper if you want to write down what your question is. And then at the end, put it in the chat where you can unmute yourself, and then we'll go through all the Q&A at the very, very end. So... I want to let you know this is not a master class, <laughs> okay? So I share tons and tons and tons of information between the live stream videos, travel chat back in the day, the midlife vibe tribe live streams, um, everyday manifesting podcast. Like I have shared so much information, the YouTube channel. So this is not that. Like this is not me giving you all this information because we'd be here all year. This is um, me opening up, officially opening up the doors to the club um, that I've created for you and letting you know how to get in. So I want you to know that at the end of this meeting, you'll have, you'll see the invitation, you'll know how to get into the club. Oh, some people are waiting. You'll know how to get into the club if you're interested in joining. So just so that you know right off the bat, I'm not going to be sharing like tons and tons of information. We've done that. Now it's time for that next level of support, the next level of us working together. And that is what the club is all about. So I will have an offer for you at the end. Listen all the way through, you know, participate all the way through the meeting and um, you'll be pleasantly surprised at the end. Remember to have fun. This is fun. There's nothing stressful about it. And um, let's get started. So I'm having to keep an eye on the waiting room because I don't want people to be stuck out there. So if you were stuck out there, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. All right. So let's go in. So before we get started, let's set our intentions. Okay. This is a really important step that you should do just throughout your life anyway. But let's just kind of take a deep breath set our intentions about what we want out of this time together. What I want you to do specifically is think about your current financial situation. And I want you to use your pen and paper to write down how you want to feel. So don't write down how you feel about your current situation. But write down how you want to feel, how, write down how you're going to feel, write down the victory statement and not the part that makes you feel a little defeated. Okay. Except for you, Leon, you just keep on driving. 
<laughs> oh, she's like, I got it in my head. Okay, good. All right. And the second thing I want you to write down is write down what you want to change. What is it that you want to actually change? Be specific here. If you want to pay off debt, say, I want to pay off debt. If you want to move, say, I want to move. If you want to get a new house, like be specific in what it is that you really want to change about your financial situation. And then write down what you think you need to make it better. So for the first one, as you write down what you want to feel, try to think of three emotional words and put those in the chat if you can. I just wanna see how people want to feel about their money, about their budgeting situation, about you know everything. Money is everything, <laughs> most of the time. How do you wanna feel? Put it in the chat for me. Yes, oh my gosh, Diane says hopeful, ease, and secure. Brandy says, I wanna feel free, financially free. I love that. So I'll tell you how, how, what my intentions are for you. Expansive, oh, that's like my favorite word. Just someone says expansive, light. That is such a good word because it gives you like, you can see it in your head, right? It's like, you don't have these heavy burdens. Like you just feel light. You just give me through life. Everything is great. I love that. So my intentions for you with our time together is... I want to give you the information about the club that will help you, number one, understand why I created the club, why I even decided to do this. And then also for you to check within yourself to find out if it's a good fit for you. If it's a yes, or if it's a, I need more information, or if it's a, it's not for me right now. And in either case, please hang out until the end. Unless you get halfway through and you're just like, no, this is not, mm -mm. <laughs> then feel free to leave. But if you're kind of hanging in there and you're like, you know what, it might be, just hang in and um, we'll keep chatting. Kendra says financially secure. I love that. I want emotional words though, because financially secure sounds like a banker and I'm not that. Like I, my words for you guys, my three words would be ease, freedom, and joy. Those, that's how I would want you to feel because that's how I feel when I'm talking about money and when I'm used, you know, working on my money these days. It wasn't always like that. All right, so we'll go on. First thing, budgeting sucks. Probably the only financial coach <laughs> that you will ever hear say that budgeting sucks. It does. Let me tell you how I arrived at that statement. I was trying to update my website yet another time and I was trying to put this sugar coating on it like, Oh, it's so great to know your numbers. It's so much fun to budget. And I was just like, no, bump that. This is, I'm not going to lie to you. Budgeting sucks. It's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun to do. Sit down with the calculator, crunching numbers. You got bills, trying to figure out how to make everything fit together. And then there's the unknown of like, am I doing this right? Because decisions I make today are going to affect me 25 years from now. So, or less, you know, or my kids. And so it's not it's a lot of energy to contain. So it's not just this jolly walk in the park. Budgeting is not fun. I'm just gonna come right out there and say it. However, shopping is fun. Spending money is fun. Like you can do that as a group. You, we love it. I love a good shopping spree. It's a whole different energy when you're spending money than when you're analyzing it. And so I want to make budgeting just as much fun, almost. <laughs> And spending money. And that's the whole purpose of the club. Um, we love to be able to spend money. We love shopping sprees. We also love having savings in the bank. And it's like, can those two things coexist? That's the question. And most of the time, people will tell you that they can't. But I'm asking, what if you could have your cake and eat it too? What if you could shop and have fun and spend money but then you could also save and you could also budget and have fun budgeting and you can also hit your financial goals without having a super tight budget or no spend all year like I did in 2019. I made it about halfway through that. My husband's still going. 
So stay with me here because I know this whole concept of you can't have your cake and eat it too is something that everybody wants to say is true, but I really want to challenge that because I don't think it's true. All right. How, put in the chat if you've heard that statement before. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You know, it's like the ultimate lack mentality. <laughs> it's like the lack mentality anthem. Most financial advice focuses on saving every penny, right? When you save every penny, this is what they tell you. You can retire early, you can create a huge savings and you can win with money. As long as you eat beans and rice every day, you live on a tight budget, you shop in the thrift stores, you drive a beat up old cash car, you clip coupons and take them suckers to the store and stand at the checkout line looking crazy, trying to flip through and see how much you're gonna get off on Downey this week. And then you cut up, cut up all your credit cards, cut them all up. Right. And if you get tired of eating beans and rice, guess what? Eat rice and beans. Like it's just this is the advice that we get. And so I feel like the girl down here in this purple sweatshirt. It's just like, woohoo, sign me up. Like that's sarcasm, right? Like who nobody wants, I'm not gonna sign on to that plan. Like that's not a fun plan to me. That's not the way I want my life to pan out. So <clears throat> this is where we really find out what is up with this mentality for budgeting, right? Let's face it. There are two types of people in the world. There are natural spenders and there are natural savers. Natural savers find it easy to build wealth by saving a high percentage of their income. But natural spenders, they may also build wealth by saving, but it's more difficult for us to do that because it doesn't come easily for us to save a high percentage of our income. I did some research, very little bit of research, just like on Google real quick. And I wanted to see what percentage of Americans are spenders versus savers. And um, oh, that's weird, that came up twice. And what I found was 63% of Americans will identify as savers and 28% will identify as spenders with I guess like 9% 9 of people who just were not sure, maybe they go back and forth. And then another study I found, it was 59% of people identify as savers and 34% identify as spenders. So what that tells me is that most people are savers, which is why most of the budgeting advice is geared towards savers, or maybe people don't really understand if they're savers or spenders. Like if you're not tracking it, you really don't know. But what it tells me is there's like 30% of America, me included, I'm a spender. And it took me a long time to really feel comfortable saying that because it feels like everything is against me if I want to build wealth and I'm a spender. And so the majority of the people identify as savers so the, the information is targeted towards them and that's fine. But for the people that don't identify as savers who are having a hard time, who are struggling, who are getting dragged in the Dave Ramsey group, I've seen it, witnessed it. Like those people are being attacked for their spending decisions. We need another way. So I want to show you my little pop quiz. It's probably I saw the answer to because it was on the other page. <laughs> but the pop, pop quiz is, are you a natural spender? Or are you a natural saver? I'm going to read these questions for you. You can use your pen and paper to write down true or false. So number one, do you feel guilty when you buy something luxurious for yourself? True or false? Do you feel guilty when you buy something luxurious for yourself? Number two, you have zero credit card debt. You have maxed out your retirement accounts. So your 401k is maxed out for 2020. You have no credit card debt. You are doing just fine. Number three, you live within your means. You rarely have the urge to splurge. True or false? And number four, you think that wealthy people waste money on unnecessary expenses. Is that true or false? And number five, you have found yourself in the middle of a shopping spree. <laughs> and I think it's funny that we never like intend to go on a shopping spree. You just kind of like have a cart full of stuff and you're like, yeah, this is a shopping spree. <laughs> like this is not, not what I left my house to do today, but I think I'm, I'm gonna go with it. So if you've answered, if you answer it true, for three or more of these statements, you're probably a natural saver. Like you probably are not having trouble just like finding yourself in a shopping spree and having the urge to splurge. So you're probably doing okay. You're probably a natural saver. But for people who are not, 
if you're a spender like me, when we try to budget by these rules, um, with the savers rules, the rules that help the savers, we fail. So I'm gonna read the chat because something's coming up. Um, false to all five. Okay, so Monica, girl, you are definitely a spender. Chisomo says, I was almost 100% a saver. Now I'm a conflicted spender. Yeah. Yeah. So Kendra is also saying false to one through five. It's true. And there's, I could have had a 20 long, 20 question long quiz because I had so many ideas of like, yeah, that ain't me. That ain't me. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's true. You really can tell if that's you or not. Um, so when spenders, when we as spenders, we try to budget using the savers rules, we fail. It's very demoralizing when you fail. And especially because society tells us spenders will never be lenders. You are bad with money. Have you ever been told that? You're bad with money. You know, spenders will never be lenders. You're never going to be on the right side of your money if you're a person who can't control your spending, right? Control, like we can control this thing. So put in the chat if you've ever been told that you're bad with money or if you've ever heard that spenders will never be lenders. I tend to challenge that. I don't think it's. And I was feeling like there just has to be another way. After trying and failing, I just knew there has to be another way. There's something that's missing. I love Dave Ramsey. That's how I got out of debt. But there was something that was missing that was causing me to kind of bounce back and forth between success and failure. And my friends, I've had friends who went through Financial Peace University who were right back in the same position after a year or six months. And I was like, something's going on. Like there's another, there's something that we're missing. And just over the course of time, I figured out what it was. So let me tell you about me. So hi, in case you don't know, I'm Fran. I'm a Dave Ramsey certified master financial coach, but I was a medical doctor and I like this better. So <laughs> I want to help people fall in love with budgeting because budgeting does suck, but it sucks because you're playing by someone else's rules. If you're playing by the rules that are set up, especially for spenders, then you will have a much more fun time budgeting. And I've got lots of ideas. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stick to the program. Otherwise, we'll just keep going on and on. So I specialize in helping women who identify as spenders pay off debt and build wealth without living on a strict budget, without eating beans and rice for five years and without clipping coupons. I'm a natural spender and I get it. When I'm coaching, I don't try to turn you into a natural saver. Like a lot of financial advice, they'll try to like make you bend yourself into this other unnatural position, right? I'm not gonna try to turn you into a natural saver. And I'm not gonna judge you for your past money mistakes. I'm not gonna judge you for your debt, or your current financial condition, if your 401k is not maxed out, if you're not completely 100% prepared for retirement, like I'm not judging you for that. But instead, I show you how to use your natural spending tendencies to your advantage and make your spending your superpower. Do you know my story? Does anybody not know my story? Maybe I can give a brief recap. Maybe. <laughs> I will try to. So my story is that I, I was working a lot. I made a lot of money, but I worked a lot. And so I didn't really get to enjoy my life. And I medicated my unhappiness with shopping and spending and buying stuff and going places. And it was just like, some of it was great experiences that I would never trade. And some of it was just stupid, right? Like you could put like Hobby Lobby in front of my house and it would be completely accurate because all of a sudden I had bought all this stuff and I was going to do all these projects that I never got to because I was always working. But it was fun to buy yarn. So I bought yarn. So what happened was I found myself in this midlife crisis where I was questioning everything and wondering why my life was headed in this crazy direction that didn't feel right for me. And in the process of doing that, I realized I didn't want to work in my job anymore. But when I calculated all my debt, I had like $624,000 worth of liabilities, basically debt, that I needed to pay off. And that was scary because I was like, I felt like I was a slave to my paycheck. I was a slave to a job that I didn't want to work at anymore. And the only way I could buy my freedom is pay off this debt, which I thought wasn't possible. I just thought I'm going to die with this debt and this is horrible. And it was just this really traumatic experience. But I turned lemons into lemonade because one thing I've always known is that my trials are not for me. They're for someone else. 
So I figured, okay, I'm going to blow this debt apart and then I'm going to live to tell the story. Like that was, that was my rallying call. I was like, I'm going to do it and I'm going to tell everybody how I did it. And lo and behold, here we are. So as I was budgeting and trying to get out of debt and, you know, failing and coming back and starting over and creating a budget diary and figuring out what was working and what wasn't working, I realized really that what I was being told was that I need to be different. I need to be as a person different. I felt ashamed because I was a spender. I felt ashamed that I could do a no by July and then blow the bank up in August, right? <laughs> it was like, yeah, I can do a no by for a month, but the next month we're going on the shopping spree because I got to let it out, right? Like that is how I was. And so I knew that like, that was something that was making me feel ashamed. So I realized that I needed to work with my natural tendency, not against it. And I needed to own it. I need to be proud of who I am. And I want other people, I want you, if you identify as a spender, I want you to be proud of who you are because you know what? It's who you always were. It's who you always were. Your natural tendencies are here to serve you, not to hinder you, right? This is not my daughter. But this could be my daughter if she stood still long enough. This could be Grace because she, I can already see it in her that she likes to shop. She likes to buy stuff. She always has a list of stuff that she wants. I can't imagine telling her, you are wrong. You're bad with money. No. What do I tell her? I tell her, sweet girl, you can do amazing things. And I teach her the container around spending. Right. I teach her that you can spend, but there's a, there are different rules. There's a workaround that we need as spenders. Now, the reason that it's so easy for me to identify her as a spender, even though she's five years old, is because I have twins and my son is totally opposite. You could give him a dime and you have to pry that dime out of his hands in the middle of the night. Like he was like, <laughs> but you can give Grace a dollar and five minutes later, she don't know where it is. You know, she pays me. I mean, she. She, anyway, we're not going to go into grace. I don't want to get off on a, um, on a tangent, but just to like, let you know that like these traits were in you when you were small. So to grow up now and decide you're going to make yourself be a saver, that's unreasonable. It's not right. You wouldn't tell this little girl that she was wrong. So stop telling yourself that you're wrong. Because you know what? You're not wrong. And you can be rich in so many wonderful ways, including financial ways, right? You can have it all. You can have your cake and eat it too. However, you know, there was a big butt coming. However, spenders need different rules than savers. And you need different rules. You can't use the mainstream rules that work for 60 something percent of the population. You need your own rules. So you may need a coach and a community to help you practice those rules, right? And the problem is when we think of like, oh, we need somebody to help us do this thing that 60% of the community can do without being told, it's this shameful feeling. Like even me, it's a shameful feeling. I feel like it's not rocket science for everybody else, but for me, it was very hard to figure it out. And I need a lot of support. Even till now, I need a lot of support. And what I want you to know is that it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Nobody ever taught you how to do this. You may not have role models in your family or in your life who can teach you how to be really good with money, how to invest, how to save. You may not know how to do this. It's not your fault. And the, and the advice that's out there, the conventional advice about money management that's out there, it doesn't, it's not catered for you. It wasn't made for you. It wasn't, it's not tailored for someone who likes to spend money and that's their natural tendency. So we as spenders, we need kind of special workarounds tips and tricks and things that will help us to save and not to overspend. So what can you do when all of the advice and all the wisdom is trying to bend you into this unnatural position, causing you to fail time and time again? What can you do? Well, that's exactly why I created the Everyday Manifesting Members Club. That's exactly why it's a group of financial, a group, sorry, a group financial coaching program where it's safe to be a spender and you can learn how to make life work for you. The reason I say it's safe to be a spender is because, like I said, in those other financial groups, I've seen people just get ripped apart for asking a simple question and all their questions start with, 
please don't, you know, please don't yell at me, but I really want to know, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, there's no mercy, you know? And so I wanted a place where it's safe to be a spender and to ask your questions and actually get supported. So what are the benefits of the club? <clears throat> so what we do in the club, it's an ongoing money mindset lifestyle upgrade course called Have Your Cake and Eat It Too. So that's part of it. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a training in the club every month and that training goes into the member vault. So it grows and grows and grows. And each month we're talking about a different, different money topic that um, affects your life. And it kind of, so it builds on itself. But that part of the club is called Have Your Cake and Eat It Too. Um, there's a members club Facebook group where you can get support, community. That's where you get the calendar to know when the trainings are. There's a monthly live training, which I was just talking about. There's weekly live group coaching. So once a week, we all get together on a Zoom as a group and talk about it. We talk about the topic of the month, what we're working on, how it's, um, how it's working. And also if you need like an SOS call, like, you know, I really want to buy this thing and let's talk about it. Let's figure it out. Like financially, um, this is similar to a mastermind call. And usually in our mastermind calls, I'm the one who's like, I found this coach and it's $6,000 and I really want to buy it. And then other people are like, okay, <laughs> let's, let's take a breath. <laughs> you know, like, do you really need $6,000 coaching? Right. And so I didn't buy the coaching, but I still want to. But that's the, it's that kind of an energy, like a mastermind where you have other people, you know, this is your girl gang. These are your cash talking girl gang. That's all I like to call it. Your cash talking girl gang who can help you through these times when you have questions. It's also a time, if you can imagine this, having a Dave Ramsey coach every single week that you can ask your question to. You only have to make it from week to week, <laughs> you know, and then you can have coaching sessions, right? Which are normally, Whoever knows how much you know money per per session, you have that built in with your group, group coaching. You also have a weekly budget accountability co-working session. Now, the thing about this is it's supposed to be a silent co-working session, um, maybe with some Starbucks ambiance in the background, but what it does for you is it keeps you from getting behind. So you have people, I know this for me, especially if I have to show up because other people are showing up, I show up, right? If you have to do update your budget at least once a week because the other people in the group and the club are updating their budget, you're going to update your budget. Let me tell you this case in point. I was working with, a, with an accountant last year who was helping with my business um, accounting and she had a co-working session in January and she had us all updating our QuickBooks. So I updated my QuickBooks. I felt real good about that. It was wonderful, but she didn't have another co-working session. And guess when the last time was that I updated my QuickBooks? January, exactly. And I was like, I need to be babysat. Like I need it. <laughs> now I'll update my budget diary because I like it, it's pretty. But when it comes to like logging in and doing something is not fun, like I need to be babysat. And so I'm creating this club because if anybody else needs to be babysat too, this is the perfect way to do it. There's also, <laughs> just almost says financial babysitter. It's true, it's true. And I've seen another um, coach who does co-working sessions and hers are just a co-working session is $99 a month. So that is like how serious it is to have someone, you know, babysitting you. It's a real thing. Like it helps. The energy with it too is good too. I mean, it's just nice to connect with people who are doing the same thing that you're doing. Um, you get access to past call recordings. So you get full access to the vault, the member vault with all the recordings in it from before. So if you miss um, a session, you can still get on and watch whatever you missed. There's also exclusive access to online courses that are not available anywhere else. So what this means is I have pulled in, I'm pulling inward all of the things I've created, all the courses I've created before, I'm pulling them all in and they will only live inside the club. So the t-shirt course, if you wanna add merch to your Etsy shop, you know, um, the money mindset course, I think I had two money mindset courses, Anything I've ever made is not going to be available anywhere except for inside the club. And as I create more and more things, I got a lot of ideas. As I create more, they will only be available to people who are in the club and it won't be an extra charge. It'll be like, this is part of the membership. And we'll be talking about that. A lot of these ideas too, are how to increase your income because we talk about the abundance mindset 
And um, if you're if you're not if you want to get out of debt and you need more money to do that, we'll be talking about how to make more money to pay off your debt even faster. All right, let's keep going. So I do want to put a word of caution out there because what else is in this club is a whole lot of woo, a lot of woo, because I am a lot of woo. So I just want to caution you right now that we have discussions about spiritual money issues. We teach the law of attraction and other universal laws. We address your money blocks and we will shift your money mindset like no other money conversations you've ever heard before. In the past, I have kind of bitten my tongue, put the brakes on just before I get to talking about the real way that I think about money. And it's because I'm very keenly aware of who's watching me. Um, and there's a lot of judgment out there. <laughs> and you guys know this was like a common thing when you go on the internet, you're like afraid of people who are gonna judge you. People from work, people from church, all this kind of thing. And at this point where I am now, that's all out the window. So what I'm gonna say is that if you have issues with spiritual money talking, then this club is not for you. It, because I don't want like the, you know, very judgmental um, religious people sending me messages about it. Cause that's, that's not what I'm here for. Okay, I grew up in the church. I did, I took it seriously. I took it as seriously as when I was a doctor. It was crazy. I've always been super serious. But I know my Bible, I've studied the Bible, I've taught in church. I am not saying anything against the Bible. I just have an expanded view of what our relationship with God can do for us. So just to let you know right there, if you're gonna be like, well, the Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil, no ma'am, no thank you. <laughs> no thank you, that's not what we're here for. We're here to expand, we're not here to start thinking about God as though he's a small entity that can be kept inside of a box. Um, also, on the flip side of that, if you don't believe in God, if you don't believe in God, I'm gonna be saying the word God. I'm not gonna be sugarcoating it and saying source energy and all this stuff anymore. Like I'm gonna be saying God because I believe in God, that's what I call him. So if you feel like, well, I don't, you know, I don't want to get the message that's like, well, you said God and I just happen to believe, you know, no, mm -mm, that's not what we're here for, <laughs> you know, like, just, you know, take it or leave it, but I'm just put a word of caution out there. We're very woo-woo. I know the Bible. I will bring up scriptures because when they pop in my head, they pop out my mouth and that's the way it goes. But it's not, it's not a religious thing. This is not your, um, your Bible study group. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. How can this program change your life? This is a list that I created while I was driving one day. <laughs> I was listening to a podcast and, um, the coach was saying, like, when you create a program, it needs to be a heck yes. From anybody who hears what the program is about, it needs to be a heck yes. And I was thinking, well, what would make my program a heck yes? You know, they were saying, like, the transformation needs to make people know that they need to be in it. And so I wrote down a list of the transformation that's happened in my life personally and what I could, what I know that I could, could provide for someone else because I've had people that I've coached in the past who have gotten this transformation. And so I just made a list and I was like, this is gonna be a busy slide, but I'm about to put all of these bad boys on here and I'm gonna read them to you. Now, as you hear me read them, I want you to go back to the paper where you wrote down your intentions. And I want you to look at where you wrote down, um, let me see, what was this? I think it was question number two. But you wrote down, what you uh, what you want to change, how you want to feel, and what you want to change. And as I read these out, I want you to put a little tick mark if it comes up of something that's resonating with you. If it's something that's like, yeah, that's me right there. Okay. So number one, you get out of debt. Okay. How can this program change your life? You get out of debt. What does that feel like? That's freedom. Okay. You feel good about being a spender. You even feel proud of being a spender. You release your guilt, your shame, your bullcrap head trash about being wrong or being someone who's never going to be a lender. You'll be able to thwart any criticism from anyone judging you about your spending habits. Okay, You'll be able to spend while on a budget and still be a successful saver. You will understand your core values. You will live according to your core values. 
you will understand why you spend the way that you do. You will make spending decisions much more easily by passing each decision through a very simple filter. You will manage your money with joy and ease. You will feel confident when discussing money, even if the quote unquote important men are trying to talk over your head, you'll be able to leave the job that's not aligned with your gifts and desires. Now, while I hope that everyone is, that's listening loves the job and feels like their job is using their gifts and that they are aligned with what they do every day, if that is not you, like that wasn't me, then this is a transformation that may speak to you. You'll be able to pursue your dream job or even start a business that you love. You'll be able to pay with cash and use credit when you want to, not because you have to. Your relationships will improve because you'll be happier in your own skin. Your relationships will also improve because you'll be able to communicate more clearly and confidently. Your relationships will improve because you will honor your own boundaries. You will love and accept yourself more. You will appreciate the benefits of being a spender and stop trying to change your natural tendency. You will feel organized and calm. You will enjoy getting out of debt. You will enjoy building wealth and you will approach it like a game. You will clear your money blocks. They still come up, you get new ones. You'll clear the ones you have now. <laughs> you will relate to money on a spiritual level and you will build friendships with other women who relate to you on many deep levels. I will tell you, these are my transformations, the ones that I've seen and the ones that I've personally had. You may have different transformations. You may have even more transformations. I look forward to increasing this list, making it even longer as people come back and tell me this happened and this happened and this happened because I know it's possible. And the reason I know it's possible is these are some of the testimonials. So I have been keeping snaps um, of screens when people send me feedback from the Budget Diary and from uh, Midlife Vibe Tribe, which is now Everyday Manifesting. And um, I put them all in a folder. So when I was preparing this presentation, I went in my folder and I started, you know, putting them together. And I was like, oh. I mean, you may have gotten the email from me where I was like, I love my friends. <laughs> it was because I was reading these things all day and I was feeling so emotional and so excited about how much success everybody was getting. So I'm going to read them to you. I'm going to try to read them kind of fast um, because I know I don't want us to go like too long on time. But I think it's important to get them on record and to speak them out loud. So the people who, um, when they send me messages, I ask them like, is this okay to share? And then they say yes, and I keep the snap. And so I'm gonna read them out and some of them I'll read the names because they're on here. Um, they're in the meeting right now. So this first one, I'll use my person. This one right here, this is Crystal. And Crystal says, good morning. So this is May 14th, right? May 14th, she says, good morning. So I know that you're a busy lady, but I've been working with my financial planner and I was so excited that I just had to tell you. We have buckled down and have really been through every extra penny um, towards becoming debt free. I love the tracker. She's talking about the budget diary. I love the trackers and the planner so much. Since March, we have paid over $15,000 in credit card bills off. I'm going to sit down with the planner today because I want to know the exact number. But I know that our monthly payment have, has went from $1,500 a month to $400 a month. Okay, so I was like, you budget like a boss, because that's one of the affirmations that's in the budget diary. That's $1,100 that she can do something else with, right? Like, what can you do? I want you to write that on your paper. What can you do with $1,100 a month extra? When your credit card debt is gone, you get paid and you keep the money, right? When you have debt, you get paid and somebody else is already waiting for it with their hand open, like, okay, where is it? But when you pay out, that's $1,100 that she has extra. On this side, this is, I think this is Ray. And Ray is saying, thank you, friend, for everything you do. This whole program you've created is amazing because you go deeper and teach financial 
You go deeper than teaching financial strategies and techniques. You've designed a system that feeds my mind, body, and soul. Your content is rich, insightful, inspiring, and motivating. I should have joined a long time ago, but I'm so glad I'm here now. This made me so excited because what she's talking about was when we were doing Midlife Vibe Tribe, I was just like, like running the program as practice. The program that I'm creating now for, for you guys, I was running it as practice. And so when she gave me this feedback, I was like, thank you. Like this shows me that this is going to work for people. And the mind, body, and soul comment was exactly what I wanted because we need to relate on on money with money in a whole different and much deeper level in order to change our lives this one down here with the house this is krista and krista um is saying another blessing is on the way i was riding by my house today for lunch and she says i may not be able to listen in as much as i want but when i do you always have insightful and insightful message thank you for being you and continue to shine so I love this because she sent me this picture and Krista was in, I ran a free group last year because I was testing the budget diary and I wanted to know, um, just like working with other people using it, if, you know, if there were holes in it or things I needed to fix to make it easier to use. And Krista was in that group. And so at the time she was talking about how she wanted to be a lender and not a borrower. And she wanted to have a, build a house. And then she sent me this picture and they're breaking the ground. And she's got this beautiful home and it looks amazing. And I was just so excited by that because I'm like, everything that you wanted, and it was just a year ago, it's already manifesting. <clears throat> this next one, this is Kimberly. And Kimberly is saying, by using this planner, I learned that with other budgeting systems, I thought I was budgeting well, but no, I wasn't. This planner has helped me tremendously to be a better budgeter. I just love it. I've been budgeting all wrong, and now I feel more confident with my money. I created a whole video on this budget a few days ago and posted it in the group as well. I'm expecting even bigger results over the next year that I also plan and hope to share. Thank you for creating this. So this is just validation to me that the system is working. And it doesn't make you feel like crap. Like I didn't ask people to send me these reviews. They just messaged me them. And I was like, thank you. All right. This is, um, this is Marilyn right here with all the pretty hearts. This is Marilyn. And she was, this is after scripting or during the scripting challenge. You guys remember the scripting challenge? I think it was in October. So she was like, Fran, <laughs> it's like the middle of the night. So she's like, Fran, I just wanted to let you know that scripting exercise we are going through layoffs, okay? Layoffs at work. I listened to your story and I could relate to your energy. So I channeled that into my story and I got a big promotion. Thank you, thank you for all you do. Okay, yeah, I just want that to sink in. They were having layoffs at work. You know what it feels like when you go to work and you know there's layoffs. Like you don't know why you're getting called into the office. Well, she got called into the office and got a big promotion. Mind you, she said, Big. She got a big promotion. Where other people were getting laid off, she got a big promotion. So <clears throat> it works. And this is money, mindset, stuff, and scripting. Law of attraction, woo woo. God is co creating with you kind of stuff. Here's Crystal again. She says, bam, just like that, no more credit card debt. Zero. Over $37,000 gone since March. Now, if you remember, this was Crystal up here where she had paid off $15,000 between March and May. And then a few months later, she was done. She was done. This is the power of clarity, of getting motivated, having the confidence and just going at it. Amazing. And she was not suffering throughout. Like, she's amazing. I love her. This review, I think it came from Laurence. Laurence sent this review and it says, this is more than a budget planner. Apart from being very well structured and super useful, Bold World Planners makes it easy to use, super easy to use, explaining each section and how to use them. Definitely the planner to get if you need structure, need to structure your budget and get rid of your debts. And I really appreciate that because that helps me to know that it's working. Um, this message says, my phone was going in and out during your live, but I'm so glad I went back and listened. I forgot about speaking my words. We talked about the affirmations, right? I've turned into a lender. And my motto has been, if I have to look for it to come back, then I'm not in a position to lend it. Thankfully, I've been able to lend and always get paid back. So this is another um, thing that we talk about and um, that we will be talking about in the club is when you can lend and when you can't lend. Because part of why I got in trouble 
so deep with my debt is that I was limping when people needed it. You know, I had my bleeding heart right there on my sleeve and they were like, yeah, I need this and I need that. And we have to set boundaries so that we are not just giving all of our wealth away. You have to pour from your saucer, not from your teacup. Okay, and here is Sierra. Sierra says, yes, I will be signing up for this course. I appreciate the guidance you've added to my financial life. You have no idea. Changing your mindset is everything. So thank you. I remember Sierra, she was in my free group last year. And when she, um, a few months later, she told me that the money mantras were like really changing her life. She was really excited about that. And then this is Kimberly again. Kimberly messages me a lot. And sometimes it's an all caps because she's always yelling at me. So Kimberly says, also, I was somehow led to listen to one of your travel chats about your epiphany on money. Fran, you are changing my life for real. The travel chat episode was amazing. I hope you screenshot this and put it on your website. Done. Girl, you are playing too small. Your chats need to be podcasts. No new content. Just start with some chats and post it as is. You have plenty of content. They are beautifully done and honest and raw. I love it. So I was like, okay, Kimberly. Like, she's always pushing me. She's like, you need to do this. You need to do that. So yeah, that's probably part of why we're here. I'm like, okay, Kimberly, I got it. I'm playing too small. I got it. I'm going to do this. So here we are, the Everyday Manifesting Members Club. How can you join the club? So the club will officially start on January 1st. December, we'll do coaching calls. It's kind of like a bonus month. Um, and I just want you to ask yourself right now, is this club something that you need? Just from everything that you've heard, looking at your intentions that are in front of you, just ask yourself, is this something that you need? Look at your intentions. Think about your money goals. Are you a spender or a saver? Have you tried other programs before? Do you identify with my transformation? Do you need the community and the accountability like the babysitting? <laughs> Do you need coaching support and group calls? Do you want to be on the line with the Ramsey coach every single week? And lastly, what would it feel like to be one of those people sending the testimonial message? Because what would that feel like to be like, I just paid off $37,000 in debt within a year and I'm, a I'm the boss. This is amazing. How would that feel? So I want to know how much would you pay for it? I've already mentioned that the babysitting alone, I've seen somebody charge $99 a month just for the babysitting. With this club, you will get a monthly training. You'll get access to all the old trainings. You'll get a Ramsey coach on the line for an hour every week. You get a budgeting co-working session. You get tender love and care. Like I can't even remember what all the stuff that's in there. <laughs> like you get it. Like the transformations are real. So. I want you to ask yourself how much would you pay? This is something I do personally all the time. And I would probably be also showing you this in the club. But if I'm getting on a webinar and, or anywhere, if I'm going into the store and I know that there's a possibility there's something I want to buy or purchase, I always decide beforehand what my number is. So I want you to write on your paper, write it out, be a witness to yourself, write it out on your paper. What would you pay? Because when you hear the number, I want it to be an easy yes or an easy no. Like I want you to, to know for sure already where you don't have to contemplate and walk away and think about it. I want you to know already if it's an easy yes or an easy no. So I know some of the transformations are really not tangible things you can put a price on. Like some of the transformations are priceless. Um, the fact that my husband and I could never talk about money without it turning into a fight because he is a super saver. Like he will say, I think he's had his Mac for like 25 years. He probably had the first Mac they ever created. And anytime it breaks, he fixes it like serious with a screwdriver and he'll take the thing off. The thing looks like a skeleton. Like he, he will just make something new every time. Mine, if I can't find the charger, I'm buying a new one. Like that's just, we're different in that way. And so that the transformation of me being able to sit down with him and if he challenges my spending ideas, I can actually, you know, hold my own. I can explain things to him in a way that we don't end up fighting every time. That's a priceless transformation. The fact that we can sit down and have money talks and his, with his idea and with my idea and not 
clash all the time, that's a huge transformation. That's priceless to me. And so there's so many different priceless transformations that are on the list. So I know that those are hard to quantify, but the ones that you can kind of put a price on, like if you look at, and let's say for monthly, right? You're looking at month by month, how much would I pay? So if a if having a Ramsey coach, a session with the Ramsey coach is like $100 to $200, depending on the experience of the coach, you have four of those in a month. So already that would be $400 to $800 in a month just to meet with the Ramsey coach. So that's the kind of thing I want you to try to quantify because the other thing, the intangible things, you want to be able to quantify, such as being out of debt, being debt free, not just getting out of debt, but being out of debt, living out of debt. And then also I quit my job. <laughs> I quit my job. I'm free every day, except for when I have kids. Like I'm free all the time. Nobody could tell me how much I would pay for that. You know what I mean? Like I would have paid every, you could have grace for the, <laughs> you can't have grace, but just for the, for the freedom that I've gained. It's amazing. I ride my bike at nine o'clock in the morning. This is what I mean. What kind of price would you put on that? So let me show you what the price I put on it. So the investment is a one-time payment of $299 and then $27 a month for 23 months. So that's like two years, basically. After the two years, you're a lifetime member for full, with full benefits forever. You, you can always go into the member vault. You can always see the courses, even the things that are new, like you are in, like you pay for the whole thing and you are in forever. And we have lots of fun things planned for the future. And you are in for all those fun things. But wait, there's more. Because this is my pre-launch, it's not $2.99 today. It's $1.97. And you will save $102. You will still have the $27 a month for 23 months and be a lifetime member forever. This price, the, the pre-launch price, is valid until the end of the year, till December 31st. That's the lowest that the, that the club will ever be. Because after that, I'm going to start launching it properly. <laughs> and it'll go up and up and up each time. The reason I'm starting off so low, because I know, like, y'all are muted, but I know there are people in this room who want to drag me for this price, because it's crazy low. And it's because everybody who's my friend at this point, everybody who's been in Midlife Vibe Tribe, listening to me practice this message, everybody who it logged on for the webinar, everybody who's been listening to Travel Chat since you know a year ago, a year and a half ago, I want you to feel like the, the barrier for entry is very low. Like I want you to feel like this is a no-brainer. Yes, I'm coming in. I want to be in the club. I want to get in on the ground floor. I don't want you to feel like, dang, she had us, she was practicing on us, and now she's talking about us $1,000? No, we're not going to do that. It may get to that point, but if you get in on, at this level, it'll always be this level. No matter what the price increase is, you will be paying the same amount. And the $197 is just a one-time fee, and the $27 is just for two years. If you jump out of the club and you jump back in, you will pay the new um, one-time fee, and you'll pay the new monthly price. So when you get in at the lowest price it ever is, and you don't have to worry about, um, about that. And it does grow in value because as you recall, um, every month we're adding new training. So it's gonna grow in value pretty quickly. But wait, there's more. So there's a bonus too here. So the pre-launch price is 197. It's $27 a month for 23 months. After that, you're a lifetime member. And if you join between now and the 1st of December, so not all the way to December 31st, but just until the 1st of December, you'll get a one-to-one -one financial coaching call with me. That's a one-hour call where we go deep dive into your specific situation. That's a $150 value that you will get absolutely free. And the reason for that is, number one, I want to know what's going on with you. And number two, I want you to be able to tell me what's going on with you. <laughs> like, I want you to be able to get the, the help that you need. I want you to get the one-on-one -on -one coaching because this is a group program. But for the people who have, you know, taken, who decided to come on in right at, you know, week one, I want you to get special, special attention. And I want that when I start to create the modules for the club, that you are, um, when you hear the modules, you're like, that was for me. 
because I heard your story and I'm speaking exactly specifically into your situation. So when you have the, um, when you're watching the, the video or we're having a live call, I know what you're going through. So I can say, hey, let's do this, this, and this. And you feel like, okay, she hears me, right? This is how I, I'm going to hear you. So we will do this. You don't have to have your one-to-one -one call between now and the first, but just schedule it. If you, um, if you purchase now, you can schedule it and then you can have it anytime you want. You can even start the club, you know, go through some modules. And then once you get a little clarity, you can say, hey, I want to have my call now so I can get, you know, a little bit more clarity, some one-to-one -one attention, attention, my undivided attention um, to your specific situation. So this is good for any time. Now, why should you join now? This is wrong. This, this link is wrong. I thought I changed it, but I guess I didn't. Um, but why should you join now? If you join before December the 1st, you get a bonus one-to-one -one coaching session. The other reason you should join now is because this is the lowest price the club will ever be. Trust me, it's going up. Because this is insane, the amount of value that you get. Also, you don't want to spend another year wondering about your financial future and trying to force yourself to play by someone else's budgeting rules, okay? So you don't want to, you want to get in now because if you get to, so say you're like, oh yeah, this is good. I'm going to go ahead and buy. And then the, the special price ends at, you know, New Year's Eve and you forget because Christmas and Thanksgiving and everything. And then you get to January 1st and you're like, new year, new me. This is my year, 2021. I'm getting out of debt. And now the price has gone up. Now it's two ninety nine. You've missed it, and you you know that's already like ugh, that kind of hurts. And you don't get the um, you don't get the one to one call. Conventional budgeting, I can tell you, conventional budgeting advice is probably not going to work for you. If it didn't work for you in the past, or if it was a temporary fix, it's probably not going to work for you in the future. So you have to know that, and you don't know what you're missing when you budget from a point of view of I am a spender, and this is how spenders budget and having the community and having you know all of the coaching calls it makes a huge difference so the actual join link is everydaymanifesting.club which is down here not .com apparently i was sleepy who knows but yeah it's let me see if it's here yeah here it is everydaymanifesting.club i will also put the link on facebook i'll put a link in the email and in instagram there should be a link in my bio and I want you to message me at Fran at ProWorldPlanners.com if you have any questions, because I'm not going to offer a refund. Once you jump in, I'm not going to offer any refund. But if you start hollering about needing a refund, we're going to have a conversation. Because what we'll do instead, we'll talk about how we can guarantee your success. You know, how can we figure out what it is that you need to hit your goals? What are your goals? You already wrote them down. What are your goals? And why, what's stopping you from reaching your goals because you shouldn't need a refund. You should need to step up and boss up, right? We're going to boss up and figure out like how we can guarantee your success. Okay. I was trying not to run over um, time too long, but here's some questions for you. Are you a natural spender? You did the quiz. You should know. Why do you need this club right now? And how would being a member of this club change your life? because it goes beyond your bank account, it goes to your life. And then my question for you is, will you join today? And the answers are either yes, or I have some questions. And if you have some questions, look at that again. I, you know, I don't have to fix that. Put your questions in the chat. Here's the link to, um, to buy now if you wanna open up another screen and buy it. But you can put your questions in the chat. We'll open up the question section. Brandy, I know you got to go to your, um, let you have to go to your coaching call now. I thought you had to leave it at 255. For some magical reason, she changed, she changed it to four. So Woo! yes. Yes. Yeah, so love it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I hope that works with your schedule. I'm just happy that you're still here. Okay, so put your questions in the chat. If you've jotted down any questions as I've been talking, put your questions in the chat um, and I'll answer them. I know that um, it's, a cra it's a crazy value and I'm excited about it because it's not only something that I know a lot of people have messaged me and I'm like, this is a solution to your problem, 
but also as a solution to my own problem, <laughs> because I definitely, I need community and I need community around budgeting, but a specific way. So I'm in a lot of Dave Ramsey groups, but I need community around budgeting that's gonna work for me that I don't feel defeated. And so I know a lot of other people need that too. And so that's why I'm opening the doors. So what questions do you guys have for me? Um, Monica says, where's the link? Take my money, sis Monica. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I was like, what? Take my money. Yes, Monica. Um, here is the, um, the URL. So when you write down your number on the page, I do this. I'm telling you guys, anytime I'm in a webinar, I write down my number as I'm listening to the value and I decide if that's something that I'm willing to pay or if it's crazy out of control. And usually, um, it's an easy no-brainer. So this should also be an easy no-brainer based on what you think it can do in your life. Any questions? Come on. I'm gonna look at y'all's faces and see if anybody, oh, no one has their camera on. <laughs> like, I wanna see if anybody looks like they're puzzling. <laughs> Okay, so someone says it's a practical side USA based. So the pra thank you. So Monica's in. Woohoo! So yeah, it's just almost. So can it work for UK and other countries? So this question I do get a lot when I'm um, just like coaching people usually or talking to them. Um, oh, because so you don't know what a 401k is. Okay, yeah. So what happens is because um, I think someone from the Caribbean, your question was asking me this question too. Um, is the, the retirement structures that I talk about or that I advise or the certain accounts like money market accounts that I advise, are they applicable in other countries? So what I would say is I'm not an expert on other countries, but I would, you can still look into it and even, I can even help you look into it if that's something that is one of your goals. And when we have our one-to-one -one call, I can already research that and tell you like how to do it. Now the banks for the, for the money markets, the banks are online but I don't know if that means that they're online because you can be in any country and access it or if it's only for USA. So I definitely don't know um, specifically for the UK, but we can't find out. And then the other question about a 401k, so that's a retirement account. Um, that's a long-term savings account that you really can't touch the money without a penalty before a certain age. So if you guys have an equivalent to that, you have, equivalents to retirement accounts that, that are structured that way in the UK. It's, it's based in the stock market itself. I'm not sure. But we can find that out too because I know um, there are some people in other countries who are interested and not all of the advice is based um, for USA, but the banking advice is based for USA. So those are the ones that, you know, we want to be really careful that we follow the rules because most of the advice I give is applicable to everywhere, but the banking, the specific, you know, FDIC insured institutions um, and the retirement accounts are based in the USA. I actually look forward to learning more about other um, financial structures because then that'll help me to give more tailored advice. Chisomo says, if you work your job, wait, if you work your job pays in some money, but if you, but I haven't worked for ages, so I have like a thousand pounds and that's all in my work base. Ones. Okay. Yeah, so it's similar here. Like you, you, when you work, you have that account and you pay a little and sometimes your job will match it and pay. Um, and there's a limit to how much you can put in each year. Um, and so you have that stashed away. Yeah, so it's probably similar. So if you're not working, you can actually open up an individual account so it's, it's the same kind of account, but it's for people who are self-employed or even if you are working, you want to um, save extra money, you can have an individual account. So you can still do that. Um, but I mean, you'd probably be the one telling me like which banks to do it at because I don't know anything about UK banks. <laughs> but yeah, so the, the financial advice holds steady, but the actual product will differ. And I do use, I don't know if you watch Dave Ramsey, but um, I do use Dave Ramsey's um, 
advice for the most part. I don't, I don't believe that, that credit is the devil, um, but I do believe um, in all the other ways that he talks about investing and saving. Just with a twist, you know, a little bit more of a fem feminine twist and a little bit more of a, this is what you do so that you don't, you know, feel depressed. Because <laughs> it's very depressing to budget when it's like, it's very, very bleak and the um, focus is on lack and what you can't have. So that's the difference there. Okay, any questions? If not, um, I will let you go. Just over, it was just over an hour or just at an hour. Um, yay, Leon says she's in. I need this advice, I need the support. Yes, follow Dave Ramsey. Do you want the feminine and abundance twist? That is the big difference because when I, when I took the Dave Ramsey um, certification program, he was right in line with what I was thinking. I took the program because I wanted to make sure that if I, if I was going to help other people, I wasn't doing it just by my own experience, that I was doing it based on fact and based on proven technique. And so we were right in line with our technique. However, I used Abraham Hicks for mindset because I didn't like that mindset of like, just, you know, kind of hunker down and save everything. It didn't work. It was not, that was not going to work for me. And then the yelling, you know, <laughs> the yelling doesn't help. So all of that was the reason I was like, you know what, let's bring this to people who really need it. There's 30% of Americans who really need a different way and probably more who don't realize that they really could benefit from a different way. They're trying to squeeze themselves into this box and being savers and being yelled at by Papa Dave. And that's not necessary. So yes, thank you. I'm glad that you're in. Um, okay, so there are, um, you know how to find me, you guys know how to find me on Facebook, you can send me a text message or a Facebook messenger, or I'm sometimes on Instagram now, and I will send an email, so if you're on an email list, you can, um, you can reply to me, and then this uh, link is fairly new, everydaymanifesting.club, there's some options there right on the first page where you can get on the email list if you're not already on it or this entire presentation or something similar to it is, um, is an ebook that you can download to your iPad um, or you can print it out if you want to. You've got extra ink for days. You know, you can um, print it out. It's like 16 pages long. It's beautiful, but everything is in there um, and you can see more about it. So you don't have to take like super serious notes during the presentation. The presentation is there for you on at this link, everydaymanifesting.club. So I appreciate you guys. I thank you so much. I am off to record a podcast. So please subscribe to the podcast, Everyday Manifesting, and watch me do it on YouTube. <laughs> Funny. Um, and thank you. Thanks, Chisomo. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, everybody, for watching and participating. And I appreciate you. I hope that when you wrote down for your intentions, you actually got out of the presentation. And I wish you peace and love. Bye.
Her just say I ain't the baddest bitch you love. Blame it on the color, blame it on the baby. Get your ebook. Get your ebook. Yeah, yeah, he. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blame it on the baby, blame it on the yeah, yeah, he. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blame it on the Lost in my DMs. What? You gotta come get your man. I think he wanna be more than friends. More than friends. Play my phone now. Blame it on the gotta blame it on the juice, baby. And I'm my phone. So one thing that I really wanna put into the club, this is a bonus if you got the replay. I really want to put into the club is fun. And I really want to infuse joy and dancing and happiness when we talk about money because a lot of times we talk about money and it's such a drag or it's very sterile, right? And I think it doesn't have to be that way. You can have fun, especially you will get out of debt faster <laughs> and it'll be much more enjoyable process if you infuse fun into your process. So I hope that you signed up I hope that you joined during the webinar, but if you didn't, consider it. Please think about it because if you are struggling, I want you to know that you do not have to struggle and you definitely do not have to do this by yourself. Okay. Bye.